Hello! Today I'm going to teach you how to create a photo slideshow video with sounds and music in Luxia Pro. We'll click on New Project to get started and then import the media we're going to use. A quick tip if you find yourself with a lot of items on your media tab, a good way to organize them is to go up here and click on Group By and you can group them by duration, modify time, but I like to do it by file type so that I have my audios, my images, and videos um, all in separate tabs. So I want to do a pretty quick uh, video. It could be for Instagram or TikTok or any social media, so I'm gonna do it vertically. And the first step to do that is to change the project settings of our project. And so I'm going to select the 9 to 16 ratio portrait and I'm going to leave everything else as is. Next up, I'm going to import all of my images into my timeline. To expand the size of my timeline, I can either stretch it or click on zoom to fit timeline. Let's see the duration of each of our clips. That's a little bit long, so I'm going to reduce it just slightly. And I'm going to do a similar adjustment to all of my other photos. Next, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any black bars on the top or bottom of my image. And so I'm just going to expand it like this to make sure it covers the entire image. A quick shortcut to not have to do this manually on every, every one of your photos right click on your clip and hit copy. Next up, select the rest of your clips, right click and click on paste properties. Go ahead and click OK. And now all of your other photos should be expanded to fit the ratio. Now that I have all of my images in their correct size, I'm going to add some slight movement so that they don't look static as my video is playing. To do this, I'm going to add a keyframe, kind of in the beginning of my first photo. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the properties pane and click the keyframe in scale. I'm going to move my cursor in the properties pane slightly to the right. Now I'm going to increase my scale by 125. Then I'm going to drag my first frame to the left and my last frame to the right. Let's see how that looks. So there's definitely a movement, but I think I want to do it even, I want it to be a little bit more obvious. To edit your keyframe, select the last keyframe, drag it to where your cursor is, and increase the scale. Let's try 135. And that is a much better zoom in. Now for my next image, I want to do exactly the opposite. So first I'm going to add one keyframe, drag it slightly to the right. I'll move my cursor a little bit to the left and I'm going to increase the scale to 135. I'm going to drag my first frame keyframe to the left and my last keyframe to the right. Now I should have a smooth zoom out. Now that I've set two zoom effects on my first images, I'd like to incorporate the effects on the rest of my photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a zoom in followed by a zoom out. But so that I don't have to do this manually on every photo, I'm just going to copy and paste the properties of my first clip to my third clip. Now I have an automatic zoom in on my third image. I want my fourth image to continue with a zoom out. And so I'll copy and paste the properties of my second clip to my fourth clip. And finally, I'll copy the preferences of my third clip and paste them on my fifth clip. Next, I'm going to add some transitions in between my clips. 
I'm going to go to the transition tab and click on fades. I'll drag my first fade in the beginning so that I have some sort of introduction, a fade in to my first image. Next, I will add a fade transition in between my other clips. But on my last clip, I will add a fade with luminance, which adds a really nice touch in a way the transition happens considering the luma levels. So to make our slideshow feel a lot better, of course we need sound. I already have some sounds downloaded for my project, but because my clip of sound is three minutes, four, almost four minutes long, I'm just going to select a random in and out point, and I'm going to click on override to bring it down to my timeline. I'll increase the levels to 12 decibels and I'm going to drag the tail of my track so that actually I need to expand it because our second photo is also of the desert. Now I want to transition between the sounds that I'm going to apply on my other photos very smoothly. And to do that, again, I'm going to go ahead and use keyframes. So I'll extend the tail of my last clip. And right where my third photo begins, I'm going to add a keyframe. I'll move my cursor a little bit to the right and add another keyframe. But now I'm going to reduce the volume to zero or minus 60 decibels. And I'm going to drag it to the right. Now our sound is going to fade out. Now I'll add my second sound, which is the river. Again, I'm going to place it right where the fade into my third photo starts happening. And also I'm going to do a fade in. So I'll drag my cursor to where my third clip with the river image starts to appear and I'll add a keyframe and I'll actually increase the volume to 12. I'll bring my cursor back, add another keyframe and bring it down to zero. Now, when my first sound is fading out, my second sound will start fading in, creating a smooth transition in audio between my second and third photo. And there we go. After adding all the sounds I'm going to use, it's time to add some music. I'm going to add a new track and I'm going to drag down the song I want to use. I'll stretch it to the beginning and end and let's see how that works. There you have it. So I'd like to invite you to participate in our Luxia contest. We are giving away a DJI Mini 3 drone and also a DJI camera. And so all you have to do to participate in the contest is to create a video using Luxia Pro and one of our content packs. If you don't know what content packs are, I'm going to leave a link in the description, but they're basically a collection of different elements, overlays, sounds, texts that you can add to your videos to make them come to life. So because this is a photography uh, sort of video, I can go ahead, I downloaded it, the photography pack, and I can select some sounds to add or even some elements. For this video, I used uh, the Summer Beach Audio 4, which can be found in the Summer Beach Pack. And so just feel free to explore the content packs and there's some pretty cool overlays and other elements. And so as long as you add one of those into your video, 
then you'll be able to enter the contest. So our last step would be to export our video. And so for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click export. In the settings, I'm going to choose best and leave all of the detailed information to ACDC and just click export. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this will help you on your video editing journey. And of course, um, if you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.